Good afternoon, YouTube. Uh, we got gifted some tomatoes and some green peppers and some other hothouse goodies. So now we have to build a greenhouse and my wife came up with a really brilliant idea of ta changing out our storm windows and uh, just building up the same toggle system and frame system for the storm windows. We've got six of them we're going to use to build three walls of a greenhouse, a very small greenhouse. So, and I can see it's starting to spit here, so running power tools during the rain probably isn't a good idea. So we're just going to try and make do with what we can right now. I'm going to climb the ladder and remove our storm windows and take measurements while we're waiting for our weather to cooperate. Hello YouTube. So this is stage one of our greenhouse. Beautiful evening, July 3rd. Doug just got off work a bit ago here, so we're going to continue on. What we're doing is putting up a frame and using toggles, we're putting in our storm windows. Thought it'd be a pretty neat way to uh, reuse, recycle, whatever you want to call it. Besides, it's safer than propping them up downstairs. Cats will knock them over. So you can see we've got three sides of the glass storm windows. What we're going to do is uh, make kind of an independent roof that we can affix to that. That's causing a bit of issue. We're not engineers. What we're going to do is use um, vapor barrier on the front and on the roof. The roof will be hinged a bit so that we can allow for ventilation. Put a bit of a floor on there of some sort. Some mesh for the different plants to vine up and we should be good to go. Anyway, that's our plan. Hopefully it'll work. And Doug will fill you in later. There we go. Can't see with the sun in my eyes, but okay. So we're finally, we finally got the plastic up, the poly. Just a little tiny greenhouse. Now we got to put the door on. This has been a really wet job. It's been raining for the last three days, off and on, but we are finally getting there. I know that door frame isn't straight, but we're going to work with it. That's the next project. These are very pretty. <laughs> well, it's been a week of very unstable weather and it's been very difficult. Well, I don't want to whine, but it's been very difficult trying to work with it. We had our miter saw inside to cut our wood to keep from getting rained on and it made a mess. Our house was a disaster area, but it's all over now. We come and check out our greenhouse. This is our greenhouse. So that's as far back as it goes. The last time we were filming we didn't have a door on it. We got a door on it now. Here's the door. It's all tell them why it's got the toggle up top. The toggle is to keep it nice and straight because it's a flimsy 1x4 frame that we had problems with. Uh, uh, the top corner popped out and all the heat escaped. That's right. Heat was escaping. And in fact, we built the frame, the bottom part of the frame where the windows mount in with 2x6. We wanted to make it deep enough so that we could actually 
block it in and toggle it in. We, when we put the poly on, we stapled the crap out of it, but we made sure we, we put it in the folds so that it wouldn't tear so easily with, because we get crazy winds up here in the north. So there's six windows in this frame, all toggled in. Let's go see how warm it is inside. In we go. Oh, nice and warm in here. Holy, yeah. We got a bit of a microclimate. I want to put a... I, I do... We did put mesh around. That's uh, so when the tomatoes grow, we have something to uh, attach it to. Tomatoes. Peppers. Green peppers. Cucumbers. Cucumbers right there. So... And we've probably got room for more, but uh, this is what we're doing this year. Uh, and then uh, we'll see what happens in the future, but I think this will be uh, pretty darn decent. And we can't put the pumpkin in here? No. <laughs> it's really nice and warm. Really nice and warm. Is there anything else we wanted to talk about in here? Uh, this is... I don't think it's so. It's really hard to... Uh, really hard to show you when I'm inside because we're kind of like standing right... Well, you could point out how there was different gaps because the storm windows are all different shapes and sizes. Yeah, there is. And so we had to put 2x4 in here to kind of block. I can show you better outside. Let's go outside. I'll show you. Lift. Oh, thank you for telling me how to use the door I built. <laughs> well, you seem to be needing to know. Okay, so this one here is, you see all the windows, the windows weren't perfect. So I had to take measurements on all of them and get the overall size of the frame. This one squeezed just in without an, uh, a fraction to spare. But then you got this one where I can actually stick my fingers in, right? So we just put blocks in behind to uh, keep the hot air from escaping. This one's okay. This one's okay. Some of them had gaps on the side, so we've had we had to we had to do something there. But uh, all, all in all, it seems to be working out pretty good. There's those plants inside the greenhouse. Uh, the garden expert that was here earlier uh, approved of it, said it was uh, probably going to work out really well. So I asked her about this gap in here. Yeah. And she said, no worries. All that will do is keep it from getting too humid, which prevents rot. And that's what we want. We don't want our uh, tomatoes and cucumbers to rot. And it looks like somebody was out weeding the rhubarb. That would be Mrs. Peace River Prepper. Mrs. Peace River Prepper. This we is our little... watered it. It was a lot bigger than this when I first bought the house, but uh, we harvested it last year and ate a delicious rhubarb crisp. And uh, so looking forward to uh, growing it out again this year and making more crisp or just canning it or doing something with it anyway. Anyway, that's the garden. Oh, let's just, this is, this is our other garden. We haven't really done anything here yet, except the hollyhocks, they're perennial, and they're doing really well growing in there. We got some plants in there that died last year and haven't uh, put anything else in there. Why can't the pumpkin go there? No. <laughs> And we got some chives planted here. And kale. Chives, kale, chives, kale, chives. Oh, there's almost like a symmetry there. Weird, eh? Weird.